Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Back in the day when Bo and Woody were ruling and Archie Griffin and Ricky the Peach Leach were the stars, the Big Ten was about three yards and a cloud of dust. Not anymore. You can see anything spread option, five wide, great diversity in the offenses in the Big Ten. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. taking place. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Lines up to kick this one off and we're just about set to get underway. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. He's to the 20 at the 30. The 50. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. And he's finally brought down at the two. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. That one will put the off 22 yard line. Second down. Passes in and it's picked out of the sky. Brought down at about the 19 yard line. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver. Check, check, check. Disco Raver! Disco Raver! On the pitch, look out, loose ball. And they fall on the loose ball. I tell you, when the option works, it can be beautiful to watch. But when it doesn't, it can go. Team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes at the 45. So on first down, they go to the air and... Minnesota could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and it sails through the... Five wide. Gets it. He's in space. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. He scores. What a play. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw. Right. Third down. He airs it out. In the air, it's intercepted. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of... A tight one going on in quarter number two. They'll bring him down around the three-yard line. Team of 22 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Kicks up, and he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. The 
kick is away. It's long enough, and he just drilled it. For Makes it out to about the 36. Throws in a hurry. Nice grab on the play. Touchdown, Wildcats. A call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. Got him in the screenplay. He's at the 30, and they push him out at about the 21. Kicks away, and he got it! But Western leads 20 to 9. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. These offenses seemingly took advantage of every opportunity to make a big play. They were prolific, explosive plays at every turn, offensive coordinators dialing up great calls at just the right moment it seems. No, it did seem that way, and, and everything worked. But there's also the other side of the equation, too, and we talk about it all the time. Da-da-da, da-da-da. You want to make top ten plays, and you want to be celebrated. You want to see your clip for a couple days on SportsCenter. But when you're on defense, you can't always make a big SportsCenter play. You can't try to decapitate somebody every single time. It's okay to make the easy tackle, grab their legs, wrap them up. Right now, a lot of sloppy tackling is making the offensive guys look ten times better than they should be. You don't have to make sports center. You could just make the regular, normal, everyday play. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Crowding the line. Got his receiver, touchdown. And some of the players are looking back because we have a penalty on the play. You gotta be careful to avoid one could be makeable. It's up and he's got it. And nine. Ball on the 11. He's under pressure. Fires out to his receiver. Touchdown, Minnesota! By his receiver, and that's a first down. And they make the stop at about the 29-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Man. Touchdown, Wildcats! Chance at all. Fires out to his wideout. Inside the 10. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. Three feet away from that first down marker. The ball is loose. They fall on it. What was most impressive is how he followed the play. It's second down. He wants it all going long. 
finds his receiver. Touchdown. That's TD pass number three. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a through here. Just under two minutes in the game. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. In a close game, the outcome often comes down to one play. Kicks away. Second down. And he's tackled around the 19-yard line. The kick is up. He's got it. We're going to overtime. That's the end of the fourth quarter, and we are headed to overtime. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! Taken down at the one. Touchdown, Northwestern. Fires it quickly. Across the middle, caught it. Touchdown. Ball on the 25-yard line. This one's going deep to the end zone. Picked off, and this one is finally over. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Northwestern 47, Minnesota 40. The Golden Gophers. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.